In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Leonardo AI to generate an image not based only on text, but also based on an image. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm in Leonardo AI, and normally you would hit this image creation button here at the top, and when you hit the image creation button, you would get a text prompt at the top, you type something in, and then you click generate, and then you would get a result. We're not going to do that exactly in this video. What I'm going to do instead is I'm gonna start here at the beginning, the main page on Leonardo AI. Now over on the left-hand side, you're gonna click under the advanced features, fine-tuned models. Okay, and then you're gonna pick your interface that you would like to use here. So in my case here, I'm going to pick Anime Pastel Dream, and I'm just picking this really at random. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna click Generate with this model. Okay, so we're in the AI image creation screen now. This might look familiar. You've got your text prompt here at the top. You can type something in, and I'm gonna type in Medieval King wearing a crown, highly detailed. And now what I'm gonna do is click this image guidance right here. And under this image guidance tab, I'm now going to upload an image to get started. You can upload a PNG file or a JPEG file, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna click on this. And I'm going to click on an image that I've uploaded here into my little library of a man on his knees looking up at the sky. So this is the image here that I'm going to use. I'm gonna simply click on it. So you'd upload this off of your computer and then I'm gonna click confirm. So now Leonardo is going to use both the text prompt and the image in order to generate an output. And of course, you can change the styles, you can change the models, you can add elements. I'm gonna keep it simple here and I'm gonna click the Create button. Okay, now it looks like nothing's happening here, but you just need to go back to this tab that says Generation History, and you'll see the images now are being generated. And we can see here we've got a king with a crown, but he's on his knees, his arms are in the air. I'm gonna click here, we've got similar images as well. Okay, now let's say I don't like this fine-tuned model. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna change it to something else. Now, if you wanna see the actual thumbnails, then what you would do is go right back to the beginning. I'm gonna click fine-tune models. And now here I can see the thumbnails of what I would like to use. So I'm going to pick, for example, this absolute reality 1.6. I'm gonna click generate with this model. Okay, and now I've got my same prompt at the top. I'm gonna to click image guidance on I've now got my image guidance here, image to image. Now, if I'd like it stronger, if I'd like it to look more like this person, then I'll crank this up all the way to the maximum. Or if I just want it to be a subtle hint, then I'll move this down. So I'm gonna put this kind of low and we'll click create again. Okay, and we'll go over here to the generation history tab and we'll see what's cooking. And here we can see there's our king in the same pose wearing a crown. Now to download the image is pretty straightforward. Let's say I'd like this second one here. I can click this little download button right there, or I can click on the image itself. It'll open up in a new window, and then I've got a download image button right here. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Leonardo AI. Remember, you get 150 free credits every day, so I'm not spending any money here on Leonardo. I'm just using the free credits. I highly recommend you sign up, check it out, have some fun. Every day you get more credits. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using Leonardo AI.